I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team today talking about buyer representation and how much it costs. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm talking about buyer's representation. <clears throat> and ultimately, there's a, a big belief out there of many buyers that they think either they have to pay for an agent to represent them or that they may get a better price on a home if they work directly with the listing agent. Now that is not generally the case. So the way that buyer's representation works is that when you have a dedicated buyer's agent, they're ultimately looking out for your interests, what you're looking for in a home, and can sometimes find that property, especially our team, can sometimes find that property off market. Now when we do so, ultimately the seller pays for the buyer's representation and for our services. So the great news for most buyers is that a buyer's representation is pretty much at no cost and that it's all worked into the price of the home. So the seller ultimately pays for the buyer's fees, buyer's agent fees, and the buyer pays for all of the loan fees and expenses. So the great news is that you can have your own representation at no cost to you ultimately. Now, in many cases, a buyer broker agreement is signed, which states that a percentage could be paid if a property is found off market, and it sets kind of a minimum standard on what that cost might be. So if, for example, the seller was only offering $1,000, then the buyer may have to have that compensation paid for. However, in most cases, that's not the case, and sellers generally pay a reasonable fee. So if you have any questions about this and how a buyer's representation can work for you in purchasing your home, let us know. We'd be happy to help talk more with you about that. You can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at delmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching.